Welcome back to Nanaliza Dawn. I remain your host, Chad, if you're ATZ3, and this next match is going to be between Lamadeus and Snuggle Base on Into Battle. We have a lot of Lamadeus today who continues to go for Hovercraft. Yeah, the last match was Lamadeus. I put the dime front at the bottom. It was supposed to be Lamadeus, but that was obvious from the top because, thankfully, you can just look at the top of the screen. But yeah, so this match is Lamadeus and Snuggle Base. And both are going for Hovercraft Factory. Snuggle Base going for a bit more of an opening economy, while Lamadeus being much more aggressive out of the gate with a couple daggers coming out there. One over to the typical start position and another one to the southeast, just in case Snuggle Base went for a bit more of a cheesy opener. Which, I don't know that Snuggle Base does a whole lot, but on into battle, you gotta check for that. Snuggle Base, on the other hand, assuming that Lamadeus is over to the southwest, and given the fact that the, gla sorry, the daggers came in from the southwest, that is a reasonable assumption. That is the way that things work out nicely. So, Snuggle Base now knows where Lamadeus is, and knows that Lamadeus is also going for Hovercraft. I mean, Hover goes in and out of meta, so sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Right now, it's here. Which is kind of funny, because Hovercraft is one of those factories that sometimes it works really well, and like, high level, you see a lot of Hovercraft play. In large part, daggers just become so much better as you get better at microing them and know where to place them and know where to retreat them to and how to retreat them and how to put them together to make the most of the line splash. I mean, they're a tricky unit to use, but they can be very powerful in the right numbers and the right usage. Anyway, Lamadeus is only behind economically for no real surprising reason. I mean, Snuggle Base did focus on economy first. And that's showing. Lamadeus at the same time, though, they are putting a lot of pressure onto Snuggle Base. If Snuggle Base messes up once and lets Lamadeus run into their base, they're going to lose most of their economy. So Lamadeus still can get away with this for the time being. Snuggle Base hasn't actually turned all this metal into units quite yet. They don't have the production capacity to make that happen. Now, that being said, Lamadeus is slightly behind as a result of their less than 10 metal per second at the moment. But still, there is room to stop Snuggle Base from snowballing at this point. And Lamadeus is working from that assumption. And yeah, it's... I mean, I point out the high-level players because Golda, back in the day, used to use hovers all the time, and it was terrifying. They were wonderful at using hovers. That was their thing. Now we're seeing hovers for... I'm not quite sure exactly why. I mean, like I said, they're not bad, per se. They're just a bit tricky to use. Especially given that Glaives got buffed recently. You'd expect to see a lot more Cloakie Bot Factory, but no, it looks like both Lamadeus and Snuggle Base thinking the same thing. But, like I said, not completely. Lamadeus, having established a relatively strong forward position, is setting up their economy. So we do see all the Metal Extractors coming forward. It's still very forward, though. Lamadeus is expanding around the plateau to the east and just near the plateau to the west, not expanding in the back, where Snuggle Base, on the other hand, they seem to be setting up more to the back, but they don't really seem to be expanding all that much at all. After that first little expansion that they set up, the first little opening worker, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot planned for additional economic production. Mostly just reclaim, just taking advantage of all the units Lamadeus has thrown at them, and also the units they lost in the process. And, I mean, why not? I mean, at this point, Snuggle Base, they have... And they haven't gotten as much production capacity on that, but they do have a quill that is trying to set up for that. Ah, here it is. Perfect. And it is in position, so it is able to use up the metal that's being reclaimed for. I mean, Snuggle Base is not... It, they're not accessing yet. They're almost at, risk of, at, almost at risk of accessing, but they're not there. So they're fine. They can keep building up. They can keep reclaiming a little bit here and there. Lamadeus, on the other hand... They're going to need more energy fairly soon, and it looks like they don't have anything building it up yet. Mostly worried about defenses, a little bit about getting more metal extractors, not so much about getting the energy for it. They still have time, but that could be a problem pretty shortly. But like I said, their game plan has been up to now, keep Snuggle Base down. Like, keep Snuggle Base's economy from getting too big, rather than focus on making their economy super productive themselves. Which is kind of unlike Lamadeus. They've been playing a highly macro style ever since they got back into the game. Which, from was my understanding, actually, is from a long time ago. But this game, they seem to be playing much more of an aggressive harassment style. They have the macro backing in their main base. They definitely are getting the economy they need. But they are now starting to excess because they never built that energy they needed to build. They waited a little bit too long. 
But as it is, they're still way ahead. Like, they still are fine. They can still easily get the production they need. Snuggle Base and... Actually, Snuggle Base has about the same production capacity as Lama Deus and has been producing a little longer. Lama Deus might just lose everything they had in the back. They didn't have a huge army to build with. I mean, the one thing is... No, the units can't go up here. Yeah, Snuggle Base can totally come up here over to the top plateau and deal with everything that's been built so far. So Lama Deus right now is in a precarious position. I don't see... I don't see any maces. I don't see anything to try to deal with this. And there are scalpels coming in from Snuggle Base. So Snuggle Base is already prepared for maces. They're already prepared for the next stage of the bat of this battle. Lama Deus, on the other hand, they're just building more daggers, and that's not enough. At this point, they have nothing, no protection whatsoever. Their commander, thankfully for the commander, has lotuses right there, but that's about it. There just aren't enough daggers to deal with the lotuses quite yet. It's close, though. It's not super close. They need about three or four more. Then they'd be able to one-shot the Lotuses. As it is, though, who cares? They can just go ham on all these metal extractors, and Lamadeus has been accessing. They haven't really been using the economy that's there. This is dangerous, though. This is this could lead to reclaim later on that Lamadeus can then use if those daggers die from Snuggle Base. That's in Lamadeus' territory. So Snuggle Base right now, their economic strength isn't as high. Their production, however, has been stellar. They've been completely on point with production. They haven't excess at all. Their energy economy has been stable. Lamadeus now has their energy economy stable. They now have their production high enough that they aren't excessing anymore. But Snuggle Base has been doing this for far longer. So Snuggle Base's current position militarily is far stronger as a result. I really like the way that Snuggle Base has set up their economy, just very carefully making sure that every part of their economy is in place before they start building up further, rather than going ham on metal and then not having enough energy and then not having enough production capacity because they aren't focusing as much on getting their units built up. It's much more even. Lamadeus, however, still has a raw economic advantage at this point that they are turning into a production advantage. They've, they're going to turn this around quickly if Snuggle Base isn't careful. Like, Lamadeus had a rough start, but it's that starts over. Lamadeus is now in position, economically. Snuggle Base has a stronger army for the time being. We'll see if that continues to work, though. The way that these Lotus, this dagger setup is going to work I mean, the problem is that the daggers over here are going to be trying to deal with the scalpels coming in. The scalpels will probably get rid of some of them, but the problem is that they're not super accurate. In fact, most of them getting rid of Snuggle Base's own daggers in the process. I mean, that's the thing with daggers. They are extremely fragile, so you have to be careful of how they're used. And with the scalpels, you can get friendly fire like that happening. It's not as bad as, say, ducks with the amphibs matchups, but it's about the same overall. So Snuggle Base able to secure a bit of an economic advantage from that fight, but left loads of metal behind. We don't see any reclaim right now, though, but still, a couple hundred metal left in the... or 400 metal or so left in the back. Lamadeus can easily take that whenever they'd like, and at the same time, there's Lamadeus going over to the north. Snuggle Base, well aware of this, already moving some daggers in a position to defend. There might be a loss of one metal extractor from this. The quill should be fine, and yeah, it looks like everything will be fine. Snuggle Base managing to dissuade Lamadeus from attacking the Northwest, and the Lotus being set up, that should secure things. Lamadeus won't be sending in Lotuses, to, sorry, won't be sending in Daggers to get rid of the Lotus. They need seven. They only have three. But now we have even more Scalpels coming in here, along with the Halberds to get rid of what defenses exist. We don't have any Maces, though, and we kind of pointed out last match, Maces aren't a great unit. They don't have any area of effects, which means they aren't... They are okay as riots. They're not great as riots. And with the hover matchup, the Scalpel's wonderful at riots. The Scalpel is the riot unit of choice, pretty much, despite it being a skirmisher, the splash damage it has, and the predictability of the dagger movement means that the missiles are likely to hit. However, not so predictable is Lamadeus' approach over to the northeast again, as Snuggle Base's forces are inside of Lamadeus' territory, or at least on the border. And Lamadeus, with a sneak attack here with nine daggers, this is going to be enough to one-shot any Lotuses they encounter, and pretty much wipe out anything that's not strongly defended. I mean, the main base is fine. Don't get me wrong, the main base is okay, and Snuggle Base is already prepared to lose their commander with the storage in place, just in case. Although their commander is in a strong enough position you know, just to be careful. At the same time, though, Snuggle Base... Oh, got a couple of their daggers in the back. Only two of them are actually attacking. Most of them are in the back, which 
it says to me that they're... Oh, I see. They're trying to go around. It looks like there was actually possibly a pathing fail. I was thinking that maybe they were just trying to be sneaky. Let them get rid of a Lotus here and there, and then otherwise be sneaky and careful. Which they might still be. It actually looks like that is what they're trying to do. They're trying to find what they can, trying to get the angles they can, and work from there. Now, on the other hand, Snuggle Base, they have the economic advantage. They do need a bit more energy right now. That's a, that's a problem just as a result of those daggers coming in here. The fact that the daggers came in, did get rid of a few power plants, did mess up Snuggle Base's economy, that needs to be addressed. Especially considering that these units here aren't doing anything. Actually, there's quite a bit of Snuggle Base's economy getting heavily hit. Lamadeus' raiding force, it's proving its worth. And at the same time, Lamadeus' main base area, that's actually becoming very difficult to deal with. The Penetrator is going to become a problem. The Scalpels at the front lines are also going to be a bit of a problem. The Halberds are doing their job. That's exactly what the Halberds need to do, is just protect everything. Basically, distract the Scalpels. The Halberds aren't really doing much. But what they are doing is keeping everything else from getting hit. But Snuggle Base, now thanks to these forces in the back, they don't have much to work with. Like, they're running out of economy. Lamadeus with the economic advantage. And also the production advantage in large part because Snuggle Base's workers were for some reason not building anything. I don't know why. They weren't helping the factory. But yeah, now they're getting set up. Now they're good. Snuggle Base has gotten their energy going back up. But that's at the same time that they're losing the Northwest. Like, all the defenses in the front that were expecting one specific angle didn't get it. And now, I mean, the units, now the daggers are coming in, but they've done their job. They got rid of the work. That was the point. That was the thing they needed to get rid of. And they got rid of a few metal extractors as well. So Snuggle Base is going to have a difficult time rebuilding the Northwest. And honestly, these daggers can just sit here. They don't have to do much. And Lamadeus realizing that they're kind of breaking Snuggle Base a bit, keeping Snuggle Base from getting comfy, decides to go in for a massive push. This could win the game. These daggers are here, quite a few of them might die, but if they manage to get through this line here, there's nothing behind it. There's a mace, yes, but there's also a load of scalpels and a penetrator coming in from Lamadeus, so Lamadeus' army is well prepared to handle whatever Snuggle Base throws in, at least on the ground. Gunship Plant is being built up, and while there's no clear indication what exactly Snuggle Base is likely to do, my guess is going to be Brawlers, because that will give them the nice distant enough range they can deal with Penetrator, or at least tank the penetrator and get rid of all these daggers without too many problems with splash no instead of going for the blast wing also a good choice provided of course that snuggle base is careful with them but i'm sure they will be we saw blast wing recently in a fight that exploit was doing last week that didn't work so well blast wings have to be used pretty much on their own one at a time in order to be effective although it looks like the main use case for the blast wing might actually no longer be relevant what with most of these daggers dying now nah, it looks like they'll still be relevant Blast wings being spread out across all of Lamadeus' army, so the daggers might go down. Scalpel's taking some hits, but not enough to make it totally worthwhile. And the daggers pretty much deflecting all the blast wings that came near them, so these daggers aren't going to get hit hard enough for it to work out. And at the same time, they are managing to go around the back. Snuggle Base's main base is heavily threatened by all these daggers here. Like, how many daggers is that? Yeah, 13 daggers coming in right in the back, and not much is going to stop them. Snuggle Base trying to go for what looks like a counterattack, but that's also not enough. These halberds are about it, and there's nothing behind them, and they themselves are likely not to actually attack anything, because they'd lose their defensive bonuses if they did. So, I just don't see this working out for Snuggle Base. Lamadeus finally goes for the Brawler. That's what I expected in the first place. The Blastings were a bit of a surprise. I can see why they happened. And they did do some damage, but the Brawler is really what I expected, and that's going to be the thing that'll keep Snuggle Base in this game. Well, it's the only thing that might keep Snuggle Base in the game. Snuggle Base's economic position being what it is compared to Lamadeus, it's still an uphill battle. Now, Lamadeus going for a bit of the raiding around the side. Snuggle Base has been able to rebuild some of the earlier raids but doesn't have the defenses set up to completely stop these dagger rushes the way that they have been going so far. Luckily for them, though, the flails are coming in right next to the halberds and the scalpels. The flails can be gotten rid of before the brawlers have to get close. Unfortunately, the brawler still does get close. The brawler already taken down to half HP. 
It won't dive these flails quite yet, but the next volley is not going to happen quickly enough. The flails... Don't... Okay, there we go. The fin they finished off... I wasn't sure if they'd finished off the brawler, but they weren't taken out quickly enough by the halberds. So that's one brawler down. The second brawler is four seconds away from being done. And this is the use case here. Get rid of these daggers. That's why Snugglebase wants it. I mean, the daggers... I mean, they're doing what they do best. Just wrecking apart everything. And Blast Wing to soften them up a little bit. That's nice. But the daggers are also wisely being moved around, being split away from each other. And that's exactly what they need. They should be able to get rid of the Lotus, no problem. Storage will go down soon after. That's insurance storage right now. That's not super important. Because as it is, Snuggle Base still has their commander. And it looks like this, this disruption is not enough, but this is the problem. The problem isn't that disruption. The daggers were a distraction. This is the problem. Penetrators and scalpels coming in, and Snuggle Base realizing there's not much they can do with all this firepower right in front of their base, throws in the towel, and that is game. At this point, oh, that well, Amadeus, yeah, they really had the reclaim going. Snuggle Base had a massive early advantage of reclaim, but after that point, Lamadeus just took it all. Near the end, at least. Also, as was Lamadeus, the only one with excess. Only about 400 excess, though. Not much, really. It actually turned out to be not as terrible as I thought it was. Both players were really on point with their economy this game. Quite impressed. But yeah, Snuggle Base didn't quite manage to keep an army up after the 10 minute mark or so. Which is where we saw what we saw. Just kind of got ripped apart. Yeah, as, as for units, yeah, units killed, units lost. Roughly the same. Really, it was just unit value was the main thing, is that we saw a lot more mace, like, well, the penetrator, obviously, but also a lot more maces and a lot more scalpels coming out from Lamadeus. And a lot of daggers. That was the main thing. Although that would be lower value. At any rate, yeah, very well done for both players. Lamadeus, just slightly ahead the entire time, ended up working out. The raid in the northwest was very strong. The fact that that didn't cause all those daggers to die without being destroyed, and also the raids to the south here. Like, Lamadeus sending half a dozen daggers just around the side, or nine or so daggers sent, just around the side, taking out what they could. That did a lot to slow down Snuggle Base and stop them from expanding safely, stop them from getting their forces forward. I mean, Snuggle Base really couldn't attack that hard, because anytime they did, they'd get counterattacked, and they'd lose a few Lotuses. And then from there, they'd lose a few Metal Extractors, or a few Solar Collectors. Or sometimes a worker. So yeah, Lamadeus' pressure game seems to be getting quite strong. They're getting a handle on the matchups. They're getting a handle on the units. I'm impressed to see that. Although Snuggle Base, like I said, they still they were still keeping up. So great game overall. Anyway, next game is going to be actually a live game between Lamadeus and Dynthroid. So that'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.